Okay. Today's project is for a buddy of mine, Carlos, out in Texas, who has a predicta that he thinks the high voltage winding may be bad. And I was hoping to explain this maybe if the the, the flyback is a is an auto former. If the lower windings which drive the yoke are okay and only the high voltage is bad, maybe you can use a tripler. So here's the setup. As you can see, I've got I've pulled the cap up enough to where it's still hooked up to the horizontal out to this red lead, which goes to this tripler. That's the in pin. The black one goes to what is called the reference lead and it's just connected up to the chassis ground. I've got a high voltage probe right now currently connected to the original flyback um, anode. I don't want to have that thing run without a load on it. And this will tell us the high voltage is produced by a flyback. And then here you see I have the tripler lead connected up. So basically we're going to not use the high voltages supplied by the flyback but rather the high voltage is created by the pulse from the horizontal out to the tripler back to the anode. So, just turn this thing on and let's see if it works. So here we go. We'll watch the high voltage. Like I said, I, I'm just, this is, you might hear a little pop and snap in here because that's just kind of resting on it. But again, now this is the high voltage that comes from the flyback. And yes, I did disconnect the ground lead on this just to see if I just let that float, if it would have any effect, and it still worked just fine. You see I'm coming up to about, uh, about 18 kb, 18, 19 kb. Let's see how the screen looks though, with the tripler. And as you can see, Star Trek's up. And it looks like the uh, the yoke is correct. There's no linearity weirdness happening here. And it seems to be working just fine. Anyway, so for you guys with predictives or basically any other black and white TV, if you have a problem with not getting high voltage, this fix may work for you. Now, granted, I haven't tested it with a bad flyback. I'm assuming that if, if the high voltage winding on this flyback was no good, this would still work. Since it is good, I mean, I don't know if that could have any impact or not. But the bottom line, it's worth a try. If you've got a smoked high voltage winding, like Carlos says, where he thinks you may have a shorted winding in there, this might be something that could that could work out for you. Anyway, Star Trek's on, so this is off. Hope you enjoyed it.